Hello, David Wong here. Hot pot, I would say, is the number one food of choice when you have a large group of people. Uh, whether it's family gatherings, whether it's after work socials, whether you meet out with a bunch of friends you haven't seen for a long time, hot pot will be your ideal choice. So if you're in China or you're planning on coming to China or you're in China already, if you get invited to hot pot, you want to do it right. Today I'm passing you down my many years of hot pot knowledge. Get ready, it's going to be a good one. Okay, step number one, choose the type of hot pot you want to eat, whether it's Chongqing Nine Grid Hot Pot, Sichuan Mala Hot Pot, um, Beijing Lamb Hot Pot, Chaoshan Beef Hot Pot. Once you've chosen the type of hot pot you want to eat, let's move on to step number two. Step number two, choose the type of hot pot base. Okay, we're going for a two grid hot pot, so you can either get the beef soup hot pot, the spicy hot pot, um, the mushroom hot pot, the numbing spicy hot pot, the tomato broth hot pot, bone marrow hot pot, um, chicken soup with pork stomach hot pot, or you can get it plain. Okay, we decided on the two grid hot pot. So we're gonna get a tomato soup broth and a spicy broth. Step number three, order dishes you want to put into the hot pot. Get a variety of protein and vegetables. Right, we've got to get some meat. Uh, I'm going to order some lamb. Two portions of lamb. Okay. Got to order some prawns as well. This is a prawn paste. Okay, this is spam. This is my favorite hot pot item of all time. Oh, right, we gotta get some vegetables. Gotta get the greens in. Mm. Alright, get some potatoes. Corn. No. Uh, Okay, get some Chinese cabbage. You got a mix of meat and veg, you're good to go. Okay, so we order the lamb, lamb, beef, prawns, spam, potatoes, and Chinese cabbage. Step number four, make your own sauces. So, southern and northern sauces are vastly different. So let's make the northern style first. Okay, so a spoonful of peanut sauce. Get some Chinese dark vinegar in there, not too much. Okay, go get some minced garlic, spring onions, coriander. Okay, half a spoon of um, fermented tofu. Get some chive sauce in there as well and some sesame. Okay, so this is the northern version. The southern version is Catherine's favorite, goes really well with seafood. Okay, a tape, a spoonful of oyster sauce, a large glug of Chinese dark vinegar, sesame oil, half a sachet of sugar, a little bit a spring onion, a little bit of coriander, a spoonful of chili, a little bit of salt. You're good to go. Right, we have the southern one here and we have the northern one here. Okay, give it a good mix, give both a good mix. Northern one is best with lamb or any meat. 
the southern one is nice as well but it goes really well with seafood and anything that is spicy okay we have the southern one here and the northern one right so everything has arrived step number five know your cooking time with these thick types of meat the cooking time is recommended to be five minutes in the pot any types of seafood i would suggest five minutes until it's cooked through spam this is already cooked but a minute will be enough with these thin types of meat about 30 seconds vegetables now two minutes it's enough Potatoes are thicker, so anywhere between three to four minutes. There you go. Enjoy your meal. Okay, for these thin slices of meat, literally 20 to 30 seconds. Literally 30 seconds and it's ready to eat. Mix it with this lovely peanut based sauce, the absolute treat. Step number six, order noodles to end your meal. You thought I was gonna say desserts, but no, trust me. Order the noodles and see what you get.